All right. So, Carter, let me go ahead and begin by asking you, what inspired you to write and create Swallowed? Um, I mean, the, the inspiration in the beginning was really just about, like, making a film that I didn't have to wait for permission from other people, you know, produ producers or investors or, you know, studios. Like, it was kind of incredibly exciting and liberating to to work on a film that, like, I knew that we could go and make with a ragtag group of, like, eight or 10 people, mm -hmm. um, you know, if we wanted to. And so, so that was the starting point, you know, of the, of the thought process. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it was like, what, you know, what do I have at my disposal? I have, you know, these locations in Maine, I've got, you know, I had photographed Jose who, who inspired the character of Dom. So like, I was like, okay, I've got a willing actor who's going to help and he's going to be with he's going to be willing to carry in coolers of water if i need to and like you know he's not jaded and 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 crazy so he's actually going to help mm -hmm. um you know so it was that was kind of the start of the whole the whole thing to be honest cool cool and this film returns to the dark and disturbing world of small town maine where bug crusher for a short film took place what was the yeah. decision behind that um well i mean I'm, I'm from maine and i have a place there and i have a lot of family there and so i had access to a lot of stuff uh for free basically like that cabin where we shot a lot of the film in the second half um you know that's a family cabin that my dad it's like a fishing off the grid fishing okay. camp that my dad built so i was like okay i have this cabin like i can write scenes that take place there and i won't have to pay for it and like <laughs> it'll be you know it'll it'll it was about what i had access to access to and of course I, like growing, growing up in maine it's like you know there's something kind of dark and scary about you know <laughs> the idea of that um in a lot of ways so it was it was nice to return to that that world very nice and jose you played dom why did you um, ultimately want to be involved with this production um it was kind of obvious to me you know what i mean is mm -hmm. carter smith is making it um and i was kind of like a broke actor so i'm pretty broke so like, you know what I mean? I, uh, it's really a shot. It's really an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Well, how did you want to approach Dom's character? Um, well, Dom was sort of like a person that I felt like I already knew. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like I didn't have to go method and like, you know, cut my fingers off or something to try to find the truth in this character. He was a guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He yeah. was a guy that, that loved someone else. Everybody's sort of experienced loving someone. Mm -hmm. So he felt really fresh and really like 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 sort of a novelty character it felt like something i can pull off cool and what did you ultimately take away from this experience um i've always been in love with movies um this is my entire life mm -hmm. um i know that i want to do this for the next you know 100 years yeah mm -hmm. very nice mm -hmm. and uh carter in your opinion what made jose the perfect choice for dom um, well, I mean, he, you know, he inspired the character. Like it was after I had photographed him for my All the Dead Boys project that I was like, okay, this guy is really interesting. Like, I want to see more of him. Like, but, you know, what, like, how, how can I fit him into this world that, you know, this small town main world? And it just sort of built the character around him. Mm -hmm. Sort of a, a soft spoken, gentle kind of brute type character that like is a lot more sort of tender and sweet than you might think at first when you first meet him and mm -hmm. that that was a that was a really interesting starting point for the relationship between you know dom and benjamin mm -hmm. so it really all just started with jose okay awesome well ultimately what do you hope audiences take away from swallowed um i mean i hope that they just have a really good time i hope that they have fun and i hope that they have fun seeing a genre movie with characters that are queer and queer in all different ways in in sort of conventional ways in unconventional ways in um you know just that see people that that sort of you know are not there as like the butt of a joke or a sidekick or a you know the first to die like that's you know this is a film where the queerness is not what the film is about it's a part of who the characters are for sure but it's not the sort of all defining um you know reason for them being in the film yeah definitely and jose would you agree uh what was it 
would you agree? Like, what do you hope audiences yeah. take away from Swallowed? Yeah, yeah, like, um, yeah, I think, um, you know, Car- Carter said it best. Like, uh, obviously, a few years ago, being queer was sort of taboo, and this movie's like a really right now modern movie. It's mm-hmm. really like sexy and it's free, and, and people are who they are. And, um, you know, I think I think a lot of people are going to feel really good watching this movie. Mm-hmm, for sure. You know? Why do you guys think that the queer community resonates so much with the horror genre? I mean, you know, horror films oftentimes are, you know, this the the skills that help you to survive a horror film mm-hmm. are, you know, oftentimes skills like being an outsider or like being, you know, the unpopular one or the studious one or you know, the one that doesn't quite fit in to like our, you know, the trope of the final girl is a trope that's built on, you know, the final girl being, you know, the one that, that, you know, isn't necessarily the prettiest and isn't necessarily like the most conventionally um, popular. And she sort of uses those, those things to her advantage. And I think that the queer people have always sort of identified with the outsider. I mean, or it could be like the, you know, identifying with the you know the the outsider as monster and the you know the, the aspect of of otherness i think is pretty deeply seated in the queer community and it's always been uh present in horror mm-hmm. yeah definitely jose have you always um connected with the horror genre um you know not really but when i was a kid um lost boys was a really big part of my life mm-hmm. and okay. um so I, I guess it was sort of subconscious um like I think Cooper said it. Uh, he plays Benjamin. He said uh, he doesn't really watch horror movies, but he he'd be in a lot of them. You know, mm-hmm. I kind of feel the same way. Mm-hmm, yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Carter, you said that a horror wasn't a place for queer stories when you were growing up. Do you think that's changing now? Yeah, for, I mean, it like it's changing at lightning speed. Like in the last like year or so. I mean, if you think about the movies that are coming out, even in the last couple of weeks, mm-hmm. you know, it's like. We have the Outwaters. We've got Skinnamarink. We have Husada, the yeah. Bone Woman. Like these are all well, well, they aren't necessarily you know wearing their queerness on their sleeve. There are their queer creators and their their voices that are you know sort of expressing themselves in way that ways that the horror world hasn't always embraced with open arms. And I think that that's changed so much, and it's only going to get better. Mm-hmm. For sure, definitely. So where can one uh, watch Swallowed right now? Uh, you can find it basically wherever you uh, rent or buy movies on iTunes, Amazon, Vudu, Google Play, all the, all the places. Okay, perfect. Then, Carter, how can one stay up to date with you? Uh, find me at allthedeadboys.com okay. and sign up for my weekly uh, Not Safe for Work newsletter called <laughs> Dirty Little Fridays. <laughs> perfect. And Jose, how can one stay up to date with you? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at the lighting ain't right. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But you got the lighting right now. The lighting's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, then, guys, before we be uh, before we wrap up, are there any other upcoming projects? Anything else either one of you would like to mention or plug at this moment? Um, I have another film in the, that's coming out later in the fall that I did with Blumhouse called The Passenger. Okay. Uh, which is a with Kyle Gallner and Johnny Birchtold, which is sort of like a coming of age hostage road trip thriller. Um, not nearly as gay as Swallowed, but uh, you know, like I said, like, you know, sometimes it's enough to just have someone gay like behind the scenes, you know, in charge of making the movie to make it mm-hmm. relevant to, you know, the queer audiences. Mm-hmm, for sure. Jose? Um, you know, I, I think we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, was it? Okay, perfect.